Hello, it's Ricardo, and welcome back to Elite Dangerous. Last week, we were all reeling from the changes to mining in the balance that Frontier has turned round and put on Elite Dangerous. Now, this week, starting off of November the 30th, 2020, there's Balance Part 2. Email dropped into my inbox with a loud and a bit of a Yes, folks, entitled Game Balancing Part 2. They state that last week, and they're right about that, they posted an announcement about their plans for game balancing. And we've all given that a read. I did a video on it, and we've seen what's happened in regards to mining, and especially what's happened in regards to the prices around painite and temperature diamonds and other materials, void opals, on the open market. What has happened now is they say a lot has happened in that short amount of time and they've collected and analysed feedback and are happy to confirm that anti-Xeno combat and power play, the most frequent topics in your replies, um, will be part of our long-term plans as well as many other aspects of Elite Dangerous that were mentioned. Okay, so on Monday we rolled out, that was last Monday, the mining and trade changes described in the post and made some adjustments which we will continue to examine and tweak as necessary. For now, they seem to have had the expected impact, but your continued feedback is welcome. I'll tell you what's had the expected impact, right? The pulse wave analyzer not working. But more about that in a minute. This past week, we've been discussing and preparing the combat changes described in our previous post. The following changes can be expected later today alongside a Galnet article. So, it's, bit, it's all about combat. Okay then, bounties. Bounties from all NPCs will see significant increases from approximately four times as much for the highest paying ones to ten times as much for the lower paying ones. What? Bounties from all NPCs will see significant increases from approximately four times as much for the highest paying ones to 10 times as much for the lower paying ones. So lower paying bounties, we were worth 10 times as much. Okay. Higher paying bounties will be worth approximately four times as much. Okay, there you have it. We can we'll continue. Please note that the number of credits shown immediately in your HUD when you destroy a criminal ship won't display the newly increased amounts. We will need to wait until we're certain of the final numbers. I dare say there'll be a game update for that as well. Accurate bounty figures can be found in the transactions tab in your left panel. So, bounty hunting. It's for the bigger ones, four times as much. For the lower ones, 10 times as much. And I've always thought combat should reward more as opposed to sat in a mining asteroid field mining things. Anyway, we continue. Solo combat missions. We're also increasing the payouts for massacre missions and assassination missions. Several economic factors affect the pay offered, but we expect these to grant around twice as many credits as before. For now, we've opted not to change win mass massacre missions following reports of consistently high payouts. For both bounties and solo combat missions, the changes will be carefully examined throughout the following days and weeks to find their effects. Blah, 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 blah. So next steps. Um, we'd like to carry out plans to improve the pay from other elements of combat, including combat bonds and anti zebo combat, which is what they mentioned at the top. Uh, more information on these can be expected soon in a similar post to this one. So can we expect that next Monday with another bombshell? You know, another sort of like... <laughs> moment or what? I don't know. Um, anyway, we we'll have to wait till next Monday or whenever we get another lovely email. The changes are likely to happen before the end of this year and are likely to be the final ones before 2021, where we will continue to continue by moving on to other areas of gameplay. Now that's quite important, isn't it? So combat bonds, 
and anti-Zemo, Zenu combat, right? They're going to be the last changes this year. I mean, we're knocking on the door of December now, right? There should be a change freeze put in place. People are going to be getting consoles and new computers and downloading the game if they've missed it from Epic or getting new graphics cards, all that sort of good stuff, right? They want people to start playing the game, buying all those arcs and those paint jobs, which is fair enough. So it's a change freeze. I get it. I understand that. No dramas. And you expect nothing less. You want stability. But look at this. The changes are likely to happen before the end. This section here. And will be the final ones before 2021. Where we'll continue by moving on to other areas of gameplay. Look at that. That's what it's all about. So we can expect in the early, when everyone comes back of, of the turkey holiday and we're all stuffed and we're getting back into play, that there's going to be more changes and more balances coming. Great, they're tweaking the game. They're tweaking the game before Odyssey hits. But that does beg the question, what sort of an update is Odyssey going to be? We already see that it's, it's a new game engine. For, um, that we're assuming it's a new game engine. Um, how big is that update going to be? And how are they going to integrate these changes into it? Are we effectively then playing a beta for all the game mechanic and changes for Odyssey? I'd assume we are. And there's nothing wrong with that. Because when Odyssey hits, we want it to be great. We want it to be engaging. Not to be plagued with all the old problems that Elite Dangerous has had. Anyway, thanks very much for watching. I've been Ricardo, and this has been me talking about the new combat game balancing in Elite Dangerous that came through into my inbox this morning uh, from Frontier. Like and subscribe if you haven't already done so. Check out the videos on the channel and the back catalogue. Streaming on a Saturday and a Sunday. Stay safe and see you soon.